Hey. Hey. This recipe is pretty good. <laughs> um, there's a billion different ways you can make it, and I will see if I can find the link to the first uh, and only recipe I've ever... Okay, let me try to explain this. What I'm making in the video is not a really a recipe. I just threw stuff together. This was inspired by a recipe that I had that was amazing. I'm going to try to find that amazing link to share it with you so that you can uh, take it to the max. So I think I did half a cup um, of quinoa for us and then put a tablespoon of sesame, uh, toasted sesame seed oil in the pan and then grilled up some onions. I think a lot more onions would have taken this to the max, but I get, I'm a hit or miss, man. Like, <laughs> don't ask me and watch the show at the same time. And I had all this cabbage from when I was making spring rolls every week and the cabbage was dying. I was like, we need to make a stir fry right now. And I did. So this was made at night, the video, and as the result, it's fucking dark. I hate doing videos at night, man. I'll like, I don't know, I'm compulsive. It's like, if we're gonna cook something, I have to videotape it, but I just don't want to cook at night, <laughs> just so I can avoid it. But anyway, it's been raining like crazy here. It's like flooding and all this for the last month, so it's kind of like no sunshine to make videos. So I just was like, fuck it, we'll make a night video. Who knows, it's probably not even night. It was like, it could have been like two in the after. It could have been high noon, you know? It was just dark, so. You could put anything in here, ever. <laughs> Why is that funny? It's true. It's like, whatever's in your fridge, just chop it up. Don't think twice. You put steel shavings in there? Yeah, you definitely could. Technically, yeah. <laughs> Jackass. Uh, let's see. I have a bunch of squash. I think it was like, last week I was like, I need more vegetables. I'm on and off, man. Like, I'll be all about something and then compl and then so that something will change. And so I may, what, I mean, you know how it is. Life. Life. Which is cool, because then I have a ton of stuff in the pantry in case, like, you know, the shit hits the fan. I can fucking live on cereal for a month or something. Um... Okay, I'm going to make a video for baking radishes because, dude, fresh radishes are kind of interesting, you know, like that kind of like spicy, like sulfury, whatever, but baked radishes are fucking good Ugh, and they're beautiful. I don't know. They're underrated. I feel like I need to, to raise the ratings by making a, a video. <laughs> <clears throat> public service announcement, I guess, for radishes. Um, so I had radishes to bake them, but they're, they're just not being baked, so they went in the stir fry. I actually requested Mark buy another uh, pineapple for this because I only had like not very much cut up. Uh, some of the recipes I've read, you put up to like two cups, and I probably had half of a cup or less. But then I was like, fuck this, I'm lazy, and I didn't cut up any extra. I was like, eh. I so thought it was plenty. You thought it was plenty? I was thinking maybe if they were cut smaller and there were more, that might be good. Or if I cooked the, that's ginger powder, I probably put less than a teaspoon. Um, when I cooked the quinoa, I think the quinoa would have been good if that had um, like some sugar in it or something to sweeten it to kind of go with the theme of like sweet and salty. So I, I put, as you saw, like I put one tablespoon of, uh, what is that called? Soy sauce? But I use low sodium so that I don't fucking die uh, because there's nothing more aggravating than cotton mouth. <laughs> uh -huh cotton mouth of death and so I put a tablespoon and it like did nothing for flavor and so you'll see in like two seconds like right now 
I bust out another. One of the recipes I read said use three tablespoons of full salt of death. I'm, I'm pro salt. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like soy sauce is fucking salty. I didn't want to die. Um, and sure enough, not only did I not die, but the meal wasn't really flavorful enough. Um, but by watching the video, you didn't know that. I just told you that. Like, if you made this yourself, you would taste it as you made it and adjust it accordingly. Dude, this was- okay, this was not, again, the most flavorful thing I've ever eaten. This was seriously fucking great. This was exactly what I wanted. Uh, just like that fresh- I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it's a different experience when you eat fucking fruits. Fruits. Fruits and vegetables and grains. It's just fucking winning. Um, in a different way than like, you know, whatever, like eating pizza, which we eat all the fucking time. Um, any thoughts? Well-balanced diet featuring quinoa. <laughs> Shaniqua. Um, anyway. So go ahead and make this and peace the fuck out.